All right, today I want to talk about setting up the Beacon mic for a dual PC streaming setup. This is very easy to do, and you're really only going to need a couple of things. First of all, you'll need the Beacon mic. Also, this setup will work with the Beacon Mix Create because they essentially operate the same software. This video is going to be for Beacon Mic. If you want to get the Beacon Mix Create, then um, I will have a separate video for that. But a lot of this information in this video will work for the Mix Create also. Let's focus on this sweet baby right here. Today's video is sponsored by Own Pro, who has teamed up with Epidemic Sounds, give you access to their full library of music and sound effects. With your standard plus Epidemic Sound plan, you get access to over 10,000 songs, curated playlists, and over 25,000 different sound effects that you can use to customize your alerts. You can access the full library from your own pro dashboard, as well as customize your own playlist for your live streams. If you want to get access to the own pro epidemic sound subscription, click on my affiliate link down below and type in TFS at checkout for 50% off any subscription. Thank you own pro for sponsoring this video. All right, so you'll need the microphone. Second thing you're going to need is you're going to need one of these 3.5 millimeter TRS cables. Now, Beacon Mic comes with one. More than likely, you're going to find that you're going to need one longer. So you can find them on Amazon very cheap. The ones that they have generally are good quality. Secondly, more than likely, you're going to need one of these. This is a ground loop isolator. So what this does is it gets rid of any of that buzzing noise that is in your line going from your game PC to your stream PC and vice versa. You've heard it before. That's what these are good for. These get rid of that more than likely. Generally speaking, these work really well. And again, these are on Amazon. I think I paid $8 for this. It comes with the GLI and this little extender cable that you would plug into your port on your stream PC or game PC. And it just plugs right into this cable right here. So. Very easy to use, simple. And you'll need a couple of these for my particular setup. So you'll need two TRS cables and two of these. So now what we'll do is we'll bring up the software and I'll walk you through setting up the Beacon app for dual PC. Before we get into the Beacon app though, there's a couple things I wanna explain and why I did what I've done. So I have done everything on my streaming PC. The microphone is on the streaming PC. All of the control is on the streaming PC. The reason being is because I want to be able to do multi-track recording inside of OBS and still be able to use my microphone on the gaming PC. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now Beacon, has come out with their own video on how to set up dual PC live stream, but their microphone is set up on the gaming PC. So if you want to do that sort of setup, I'll just provide a link in the description below for Beacon's uh, video because it's really good. And you know, I think it'll give you everything you need to know. But for multi-track recording and taking all the of the load off the gaming PC and letting the streaming PC handle everything, that's what I, have set up and that's what i want to show you today so now let's get into the app okay so when you get into the app the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up your microphone so you'll have to go down here in the list and find the microphone and then select the microphone and now you should be getting input for your microphone into the mixer so this list is list all of the different hardware devices that you can use for inputting into this channel. So I've gotten the microphone beacon set up. The next thing you're going to want to do is for your personal mix, you're going to want to select your listening devices. So this is primarily more than likely going to be the headphone output for the beacon, or if you use a sound card or something specific that you want to use. So I'm going to go down here and find headphones beacon mic. Now I should be able to listen to myself directly through the back of the beacon mic itself. The second thing you can have another option, say if you have speakers or something like that you wanna output to, you can also select those here like so. So here's my speakers Realtek Audio. And so if I had speakers hooked up to my sound card, then I could switch this over and then output to my speakers and back to my headphones as needed. So that's a really nice, you know, obviously you have an audience mix here and down here at the bottom, this routing table shows you where you can go and you can select what you want to go to your various mixes, whether it be your personal mix, the audience mix, 
or a third mix, which is your voice chat mic. Now, obviously I want to send my microphone to Discord devices without sending a bunch of other sources. So here I can have a voice chat mic bus that I can send my chat and set it up in Discord without having to worry about sending everything else, which is beautiful. Another thing that you can do with this, and this is vital, is you can write, you can click on this and you can copy chat mic output to a fourth device. And this is what's key about getting your microphone over to your gaming PC. So here I'm going to select the speakers real tech audio because I have a cable is hooked up to the back of the stream PC on the speaker output, which is green. Typically it's green. Sometimes it may be gold. If you have, you know, some high end sound cards with gold plated connectors, but look at your sound card user manual. Look at the symbols on the back. But generally speaking, most people it's green. I like a light kind of lime or pale green. You would take that cable and then send it over to your game PC into the blue input, the line in, or in my case, because I'm strictly using it for microphone, uh, you can send it into the pink microphone input. And that gives you additional options for additional boost as necessary if you need that for your mic. That is what I've done here. I have set that cable up to this third speaker output going over to the game PC, and that is how the microphone gets there. So to do that though, you have to make sure that this is checked. Now down here in the personal mix, you can choose whatever you want. If you don't want to listen to yourself, which I typically don't, I have this turned off. Chat, music, system whatever else you want to add in here you can so let's go ahead now i've got chat i've got music i'm happy with that uh, i do want some browser audio so i'm going to add a browser channel i'm also going to add a hardware channel here because i need to be able to pick up game audio from my gaming pc and what i have done there is i have actually brought that into the line in from into the sound card of the streaming pc so i need to select that uh, another i have another cable another 3.5 millimeter trs and a gli connected to the back of my streaming pc that's coming from the speaker output from my audio interface that i use on my gaming PC, I have a Focus Scarlet 2i2 interface, and I have the TRS cable coming off the headphone output from the audio interface. And the reason I do that is because I have uh, studio monitors that I use on the gaming PC when I don't want to listen to the streaming PC and also when I'm editing video. So I have this interface set up and I've decided that's where I want to run my output for my gaming PC audio running into the stream PC into that line in. So I've got this line in here so that will feed audio from my gaming PC into the mixer. And that's pretty much all I really need. You do have the option of having a game channel if you're going to use uh, you know if you're single PC streaming and you're going to use the virtual device there to do that. And you also have an additional hardware and additional aux that you can use. So it's really nice. Other than that, the big thing is getting everything set up inside of the mixer itself. So what we'll do is we'll go into Discord. We'll bring up Discord, go to user settings, we'll go to voice video. And what you want to make sure is you want to make sure your output device is set to chat, which it is. Chat beacon mic is what you're looking for. Input device will be the microphone. And then we can go to the let's check and it should bring it up. Check, 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 check. All right, so that works. And you also see now that when Discord was outputting, it shows up in the window here in the chat. So that is pretty neat. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna set up music. So I use Spotify, so I've got Spotify here. I will turn some stream beats on. And what we need to do now is we need to set an output for it. So what we'll do is we'll go into the upper right hand corner here. You see this little uh, icon there to open app volume and device preferences. You click on that and then you go down to Spotify and here let's set the output to music. You can mic. So the output is there and now we have music showing up in the mixer there. And of course you see Spotify listed in the option or the apps running for that channel. Now you can have multiple of these set up at the same time. So if you wanted to use like a movie and TV, uh, you can use that, Spotify, uh, VLC player, all of those you can send to this app and they'll all play to this channel if you so choose. All right, system is going to be my Windows default audio. So again, let's go here. Let's make sure that system audio is set up to the uh, output, which I want instead of doing headphones, I want it to be system. And then I can choose, I can control the levels right here inside of the mixer to my output for my headphones if I need to. 
instead of having to go into Windows and do it. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is we'll go and set up our browser. I use Chrome. So again, click on the icon in the upper right to bring up that uh, volume and device preferences. We'll go down to Chrome here. And I'm going to set this to browser beacon mic as the output. And so we should have now have Chrome once we output audio. And what I'll do is I will go to my owned dot pro account and use some epidemic sound and you can see here we got all kinds of different things to choose from so let's go to rock and uh we'll trap in this uh wendigo instrumental music metal rock and there you go so the volume is there you can control the levels inside of the beacon app now for your chrome or your firefox or uh, edge whatever you use for a browser which is really nice all right hardware wise again we've talked about that i've already set that for the line in that's coming from the uh analog uh, patch cable coming from the game pc again that is a trs 3.5 millimeter stereo cable so that's going into the line in and that's really my setup uh for all of the apps that i want to use within the beacon now down here on the routing table for my personal mix, I don't care to really listen to myself other than when I'm initially setting something up. But once I'm actually streaming, I don't care to listen to myself. So I have this turned off. I have my chat, my music, my system, browser, and hardware all selected to my personal mix. For my audio mix, um, you can have everything selected or if you just want to send your microphone directly into OBS, which I like to do that too. I actually have this turned off to the audience mix and I have my microphone going directly into OBS by itself. That's, you know, how easy it is to set that up. Thirdly, for my voice chat mic, if I'm just streaming and I'm not doing anything anything else, I'll just send my voice over this voice chat mic and have this set up for like Discord or whatnot with the fourth output, right? Going out to the speaker output of the stream PC, going to the game PC. That way you have in-game comms and that sort of thing. You have a microphone set up there and you can go and you can set the uh, microphone from your sound card as your default record device. And then all of your games will automatically recognize that as your microphone. If I just want to listen to music on, say, on my gaming PC through my studio monitors, or if I'm editing video and I want to listen to my commentary to edit the audio per se, uh, you know, any of these other outputs through this voice chat mic, and that will actually go over to my game PC also. So that's another option too. In the case here, if I wanted to listen to music, I would select this uh, going to the voice chat mic, or if I wanted to listen to, you know, the, uh, the Adobe Premiere uh, audio output, I always have that set to system. So I would just turn that on. So this gives you options for what you need to do. And I mean, essentially you get four output buses with the Beacon app, which is fantastic. I really like that a lot. Now let's talk about OBS and setting up multi-track recording. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up some audio sources inside of OBS. So first of all, let's go into audio output capture and let's call this chat. This will be for like Discord. And all we're gonna do is we're going to look for the corresponding sources that the Beacon app has created. So here is chat beacon mic. The so next one will do the same thing, another output capture. We'll call this music. We'll find the music source. And as you can tell, the music was playing loud. Now, once you get all of your sources set up inside of your source list, now what you need to do is you need to go to two places. First of all, we need to go to advanced audio properties. So you'll click on the gear icon, go to advanced audio properties. And here you have all of your sources and all of the tracks they're outputting to. Now these two new ones I've made, you can see that they're outputting right now to all six tracks. So I'm going to deselect those. Now I have track one being the output for my stream. And then for chat, I will make that track three. And for music, I will make that track four. And additionally, you will select the other sources and give it its own separate audio track to output to up to the six that you have available. So you can have five separate tracks of audio to use within your mix. All right, so once you've done that, now what you want to do is you want to go to settings, go to output and recording. And I'm recording here, but you can see that I have tracks two, three, four, five, and six turn on so that OBS will capture the audio from all of those different tracks. And then of course for streaming, 
I have track one set up, track two is a VOD track in the event that I'm playing music there. So for a recording, that's what I have set up. So now you will have audio going to each of those tracks when you're recording it so that when you pull it into your editing software, whether it's DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Premiere, or any other editing app that supports multi-track audio, you will pull in your MP4 or your MKV. The only one that does not support multi-track audio within OBS is the FLV format. All of the other formats within OBS support multi-track audio. So I use MKV primarily, and then what I do is I set OBS up to automatically remux that to MP4. The reason I do that is because if you were to record MP4 straight off and OBS were to crash, then your video file is unrecoverable. But with MKV, if it crashes, you at least get the video that you've already recorded, and then you can remux that to MP4 and use it in your editing app as necessary. That's what I do. They all support multi-track. So that's really multi-track in a nutshell. Listen, if you've got any questions, Questions, please let me know it is super simple to get this set up and once you get it set up it's pretty much set and forget that's what i really like about it and beacon has done a great job designing their software to meet all kinds of levels of knowledge when it comes to audio because not everybody's going to come in here and be able to understand how to do all of the different settings with EQ and that. But they have made it really easy and given you simple modes that you can just go in and do some simple adjustments and pretty much have everything set up the way you need it. So anyway, I hope this video helped you out. Again, I thank Beacon for sending me this gear to use. I have fallen in love with it. I really enjoy using the mic and their other uh, mix apps too, the Mix Create and the Mix that is on my game PC. So I will have a video coming out here soon on the Mix Create and I'll again walk through the settings real quick but they're basically the same as the beacon mic it's just with the beacon mix create you now have a hardware a device that you can control the levels instead of having to go into the software and control them with your mouse so that's really what the beacon mix create gives you so it's really nice but anyway other than that i appreciate everybody watching the video again listen channel description down below uh, make sure you check that for my own dot pro account uh, with with uh, epidemic sounds uh that's, that's an awesome thing that they have now so i'm really looking forward to working that and using more of the epidemic sounds music in my videos all right guys thank you have a great day we'll see you later